Welcome to Face Islam, the program dealing with the issues and subjects facing Muslims everywhere. In this special episode, we want to talk about a word in Arabic, kibr. And what is kibr and how do we deal with it in today's world? In the Quran, we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, has warned us clearly about this subject. He's told us about what this kibr is. This is actually translated as arrogance in the English language. An arrogant person thinks he's better than others. It's also related in many ways to another word called asabiyya, and that is racism or tribal mentality, party spirit, where it's my way or the highway, our gang against your gang, and this kind of mentality. This is forbidden, actually, in Islam because Allah tells us in the Quran, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنِ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَأَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِعًا وَاللَّهِ تَفَارَقُوا He's telling us here that we should hold tight to the rope of Allah. The rope of Allah is the iman or the belief in God himself. And don't make farakat. Don't separate yourself up into groups. We've talked about these issues in some of our other programs, but bringing it all together today, we can understand a little bit more about the nafs. Now, on the day of judgment, when we're all resurrected, and everyone will be resurrected, Every Jew, every Christian, every Muslim, every Hindu, every Buddhist, and every atheist, and everything in between. All of us will be brought back on that day to face what we did with our lives here on this earth. And what will we be saying? Nafsi, nafsi, nafsi. What will happen to me today? And that is when we'll begin to understand the problem of our egos, which we've talked about in some of the other programs, we begin to realize the kibber that we had in this life and the damage that it did to us. When we tried to elevate ourselves above each other with our pride and arrogance, to the extent that we hurt each other's feelings, we actually took away from other people their rights through our arrogance, this kibber. And how bad is it really in Islam? Is it a minor sin? Is it a major sin? Well, depending on what degree that you take this to, it could actually be kufr, going totally away from Islam, not even being a Muslim anymore at all. And what's the proof for this statement? I mean, that's the heaviest statement I ever make when I say something like that to say that somebody is not in Islam. Now, what would mean, how would a Muslim think they're still a Muslim, but watch. In the Quran, in chapter 4, verse 48, Allah says, he does not forgive a shirk. But anything less than this, he can forgive. Verily, whoever has come up with this shirk has invented a monstrous evil sin. Okay, but you said, that was shirk. You're talking about kibber. Ah. Shirk is to make partners with the law. Anything that you set up as a partner with the law in worship, this is shirk. So how does kibber fall into that? Well, if a person's Ego and arrogance reaches the level that they challenge God himself. They refuse to obey him and say, I don't care what God said, I'm going to do it my way. You follow that? May Allah save us from that. But we see that the person becomes so arrogant, even though he believes in God, he has refused to submit. What am I describing? Actually, I'm describing the devil himself. The devil knows there's God. He knows full well. He used to worship God until his kibber, his arrogance, overtook him. And when he was ordered, and Allah told him to make sajda, to bow down because of the creation of Adam. But he refused. He said, nay, 
I'm better than he is. Him you made from dust and dirt, but me I'm made from a smokeless fire. I'm better. I'm created better. I am better. And for that he refused to bow down. Yet he still believes there's a God. But what has he done? He's allowed his nafs, his ego, to incorporate a lot of kibber, and that's our subject for this episode, kibber, to make himself think he's so great in front of Allah. But look at this. In the Arabic language, Allah is the ultimate of kabara. That's the root. The root for kibber is kabara. And what comes from that? Akbar. Akbar, the greatest. Allah is Akbar. That's what Muslims mean when they say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. That Allah, He is the greatest. Allah, He is the greatest. So if somebody incorporates this kibber into themselves and they're associating themselves to be on a level that they can deny God, refuse to obey God, or make up their own religion, or deny religion altogether from God, then this is the worst kind of shirk. And that would be how Tibur would keep somebody out of the paradise. May Allah save us from that. May Allah cause us to be those who humble ourselves, who listen to the words of Almighty God in the Quran, and follow the teachings and the way of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his close companions. May Allah cause us to be of those who study and learn from true scholars and then implement it and practice it in our lives. Inshallah ta'ala. We ask all of our viewers to give a few minutes every day to read and study and learn so that we can all benefit. And that is Face Islam. <laughs> Da 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 da